Hey guys, I'm back. Welcome back. Um, this kind of look like I blended with the background, which is super fun. But um, I'm getting ready to go to work. I did enough videos last or two weeks ago to make sure that I didn't have to do one this week because last week was my first week of work and then this week I'm still getting settled. So I was just, you know, making sure to do that. However, they're like, they're the product reviews, which are super fun to do, but like nobody watches them, which is fine um, because it's more about having fun doing them. Anyway, I just wanted to make a quick video. My ex is about to pick up my kid, so I'm like doing this on the fly. I just wanted to talk about lupus maintenance and the drag that it is. If you feel so frustrated keeping up with a diet and, you know, doing your little exercises like your physical therapy or, you know, whatever whatever you're doing, whatever you're doing to keep your health good and your lupus at bay it is so exhausting and i know some of this is just like being 30 you know like i saw this meme one time it was just like hey welcome to 30 hope you like ibuprofen well that is real also i have lupus if my diet is a little bit off if i don't exercise enough if i you know get stressed out anything like that it'll start to flare and my joints will start to hurt. I'll get more tired than usual. I'll get cranky. And it's not just like, oh man, I need more sleep to cranky. It's depression. Like it is bad. So if you are out there experiencing the drag of keeping up with chronic illness, whether you're in remission or not, I am in remission. I'm in full remission. I still like experience lupus symptoms whenever I'm not careful or I slack or anything like that. Here's to you guys. If, if I could raise a glass, I would, but all I have is duct tape. I have astrological duct tape, which is super cute. Um, but yeah, here's here's to you guys. With <laughs> Another thing I wanted to say, if you are having trouble keeping up with everything, don't stop. Don't just give up yet. That comes later. <laughs> I mean, you know, when you're like 95 and you've totally like beasted lupus your whole life and all that stuff. It's really not worth it to just surrender to the disease and be like, well, I'm just going to, you know, enjoy myself, eat whatever I want, not do whatever I want. Because it not only affects you, it affects the people around you, it affects your self-image, it is not worth it basically. Another thing I wanted to just throw out there is like giving yourself one thing to do a day. So like I have, <laughs> so growing up, uh, I was super Christian and my family was Christian. And so if you were like really, really good uh, with God for a while, and then uh, you weren't like you started listening to, you know, rock and roll or you, um, you know, like kind of slacked on your morning devotions or something like that. They would call it backslidden. So if you are backslidden with keeping up with your disease, one thing I always do, which like helps motivate me and helps keep me back on track or get me back on track is to do one thing a day. So if you are, you know, trying to go gluten-free and when you do go gluten-free, it really helps your joints. It really helps how you feel. It helps stomach pain, you know, all that stuff. And you've just been eating bread like all summer because it's fun and it's good and you love it. Just one day, don't eat bread. Right now, I have not exercised in way too long and I am feeling it. Like my mood is down. I'm also just like really having trouble with muscle pain and you know, my posture is off, just like all this stuff. So what I did this morning was three minutes of planks. Planks are my jam, I love planks, so I can, you know, that's like a motivational exercise for me. Some of you hate planks and you have to do push-ups or I don't know what to do. That That is my thing for today and I checked it off. I'm keeping up with lupus today. So just like set manageable, very small goals for yourself, like just one at a time and that's, that's it, that, that's it. And then you just go from there and you feel motivated because it's just like, okay, I did that. I've done three days of that, or I've done five days of that. Now I can add something new in because that is now a habit that I have brought back into my life to help maintain my chronic illness. 
that's all I got for you guys. My ex is gonna show up here in like two to 12 minutes because sometimes he has traffic. So that's all I got. That's my quick little video. You're not alone and start small. See ya.